since I've been clean, I have reconnected with my family, and I see all of my nieces and nephews and who are now have their own nieces and nephews. And to think that I let a substance keep me from all of this, that hurts me. My name is Kevin. I'm a United States Army veteran, 1979 to 1983. I had an MOS of 74 Delta and a secondary MOS of 75 Bravo. When I went to Germany, I was on an air defense artillery unit. Upon leaving there, because of the firing of missiles so frequently, I had developed, you know, a bilateral, chronic bilateral ringing known as tinnitus. But when I rotated back, I worked and, you know, I was doing various things. But the ringing is just so incessant and consistent. I started drinking and, and uh, doing pot. Pot led to, you know, to cocaine and cocaine led to smoking it. There was some bouts of heroin involved also. You know, after a while I knew that it wasn't helping the ringing because there's no cure for this. My addiction went on for approximately 20 plus years. There was years of homelessness involved. I was out there for a minimum of three years, four years. I was totally lost. After really, really hitting rock bottom and at the persistence of my wife, I figured I'd give it a shot to get clean, to get help. I went to a detox. Uh, there was uh, an army sergeant who was, happened to be a counselor there and he asked me, you know, if I was willing to go ahead and seek, seek treatment. At this point, after I left the detox today, I went to the Brooklyn VA. Eventually, I got myself clean and started building up time, clean time. I've been diagnosed by a psychiatrist with depression and anxiety. When I left the detox, I went to Fort Hamilton and I did a 28-day program and I had good social workers, I had good psychologists. So the information that we were being given and skills that we were learning all touch base on that to help us get a good foundation on our journey of recovery. I received CBT. I still, I still do CBT with a psychologist, which helps me. And the way you feel has a lot to do with your behavior. I do walks. I make sure I have me time during the day. I read a lot. I journal. I've been journaling for now close to five and a half years. I'm able, I'm able to see, you know, anything that I'm procrastinating on or what I need to get better at. I have a sponsor that I call every other day. Getting outdoors, actually, it's, it's very relaxing to me. I enjoy sounds. I enjoy doing it you know, with my wife. She's like, like my anchor, she's my rock, you know. I, she gives me a lot of wisdom. So to me, that's, that's a great blessing. I yearned to do something more. I wanted to do more. I wanted to do more. How can I help the veterans? And eventually I got licensed and certified by the state of New York and was hired by the VA FDR campus. I facilitate recovery groups for the substance use disorder outpatient. I have veterans coming in from outside. It, it really makes me feel good when I can help them and help them to change their thinking. I didn't get clean until I was 54. So it's never too late. You can still be productive. I try to go above and beyond to help them to get these services. I let them know, you know, we're one, we're the same. We need help. We got to get it. Thank you.